Apanhão. Bagate. Ok. É forte. Marajal. Extrajal. That's right, Jim, man. And today we're reading the latest episode from your unproduced television series, uh, The Koopalings and Bowser Jr. Show. Grab my laptop to read the story. Um, he's written five seasons and he writes this whole thing. I don't, you gotta understand, Jay, man, I have maybe contributed one or two lines to this entire, uh, five season epic. I don't remember if we did a video about Super Morton, as the name suggests. No. no? We didn't? Okay. As the name suggests, Super Morton is a parody of Superman, except it's Morton Koopa Jr., who in Jason's series is maybe the dumbest mm. character. Uh, so here, here's Super Morton 2. And it begins with the narrator saying, Super Morton 2! Super Duper Morton! And Morton appears and says, it's time to fight crime. <laughs> okay. A cat Goomba is crossing the street and some cars are driving towards it. Morton blows up the cars with the bombs and throws the drivers in jail. So he's he had now he has all the powers of Superman, like all the all all of Superman's same powers. Yeah. And instead of stopping the cars with his strength, he throws bombs at them. Uh, Morton says, "It's okay, Kitty. You're safe now." Hey, there's some words that say ginger on your collar. Here's your cat, little girl. There's a little girl nearby, and the little girl says, Thank you. He must have gotten lost. And I won't let it happen again, says Morton. Uh, for now, keep that cat indoors. Now I gotta go fight some more crime. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a fisherman is seen fishing in the Atlantic Ocean uh, with a net. He's uh, overfishing. Um, with his net and Morton destroys the net with his heat ray and lets all the fish go and then he beats up the fisherman <laughs> and a, a classic uh, fighting cloud appears over the two and Morton throws the fisherman in jail. And then we move to the grasslands of Africa where there are some poachers trying to get a rhinoceros. Uh, Super Morton beats up the poachers and throws them in jail. <laughs> so these are, this is, these are noble activities. Superman doesn't... I think he stops criminals and puts them in jail. He doesn't beat them up. Superman is a little more violent than Superman. Um, at a farm, Super Morton sees a farmer about to slaughter a cow. Uh, Morton beats up a farmer <laughs> and throws him in jail. As you can see, no one loves these stories more uh, than J-Man himself. Um, next, Morton goes back in time to the Stone Age. Uh, he sees a Neanderthal hunting a mammoth, so he beats up the Neanderthal <laughs> and takes him to jail in the past. They have a, there's a Stone Age jail. Uh, no, he goes back to far. Oh, he takes the Neanderthal into the present to put him in jail? Yeah. That's going to be some culture shock for the Neanderthal. Neanderthal is going to gonna have a heart attack when he sees cars and <laughs> electricity <laughs> uh, that's a cruel thing to do to someone from the past people are always people ask sometimes well what would George Washington think of uh, our think of our world now he'd probably die of shock if you brought George Washington here and was like hey there's a car there's airplanes <laughs> he'd go crazy uh, so uh then Morton encounters an, a mysterious man once he returns from uh, he returns from the past with the Neanderthal and puts him in jail. Then he, he comes across a mysterious man and he says, Oh, hello, whatever your name is, uh, or whoever you are, you mystery man. My name is General Dumb. I'm the dumbest of all, and I've got your friends. Uh, <laughs> it turns out General, General Dumb, who is a parody of uh, General Zod, the Superman villain, uh, when we started this episode, Jason asked me, "Who are Superman's villains? Who does he who does he fight other than uh, Lex Luthor and Brainiac?" And I had to look that up. Actually, I didn't remember. Ow. Dumb. Yeah, in the in Super Morton One, he fights Lex Dumber and Dumbiac. Uh, so General Dumb. Have they? And they they die. 
Uh, as a general, Dumb has captured the Namis, who are... The, no, the Namis aren't uh, Mario characters. They're from a separate uh, video game that Jason likes. They're these little, like, kind of brightly colored aliens. Um, general Dumb has the Namis in a cage, and they're uh, hanging on a rope above a volcano. Morton says, not the Namis. How are they going to eat candy now? General Dumb says, I guess they'll have to eat volcano debris. Now it's time to lower them down, or otherwise their rope will be cut off. Don't worry, the lava will keep them warm. Uh, what was I supposed to be doing, wonders Morton? I forgot. Oh yeah, I gotta defeat you and bring back the Namis. Uh, Super Morton punches General Dumb, and General Dumb says, Ow, my legs are broken. An x-ray shows that General Dumb's leg bones aren't actually broken at all. Uh, Feral perfectly fine. They're all perfectly fine. Um, uh, da, da, da. Morton uh, takes General Dumb into the volcano, but General Dumb grabs onto the edge. Uh, Morton peels his fingers off, like, you know, in those Tweety Bird cartoons. Uh, and General Dumb falls into the lava, but the hell dimension suddenly opens up and Satan grabs General <laughs> Dumb and pulls him down. And then the hell dimension closes. So that's that's pretty frightening. You're falling into a volcano, it's probably scary enough. And then if Satan grabs you... Uh, so Super Morton says, we did it, Namis, now let's get you out of here. Morton zaps the rope with his heat ray and he grabs the cage and opens it and brings the Namis back to his home. Uh, Morton goes home and says, Hi, Bowser and Bowsette. Uh, how's Chompy? Bowser says, He's good. And say, you're growing up real fast, Super Morton. Uh, why don't you think about getting a girlfriend? <laughs> Morton says, uh, I'm going to look for a great girlfriend. And the narrator says, The end! New movie coming soon! And then we cut to the uh, audience where regular Morton is just yelling, That was awesome! What did you think of the movie, Chompy? Uh, so this is, a, Super Morton is a movie in the Koopaling universe. Um, and what did you think, Wendy? Uh, Wendy yells, that was idiotic. Morton wasn't fighting any crime. Uh, Morton says, the next movie is going to be great. It's going to be action-packed and dramatic and adventurous. Well, I hope so, says Wendy. If it turns out to be garbage, I'll hate it. Wendy, says Bowser, be nice to your brother. Wendy folds her arms in anger. Will it be great, wonders Morton? Bowser says, I know it will. He kisses Morton. Morton goes Aww. into his room and says, it's time to work on this movie. And he starts writing Super Morton 3. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I mean, it's, I think it's really fun that you uh, have um, It's like the movie within the movie. It's the movie within the TV show. That's a lot of fun. It's always cute that they're... At the end of Super Morton 1 in the theater... They're like, oh, that was kind of crummy, and it's, it looks like this movie's getting bad reviews, too. <laughs> um, so what's going to happen in Super Morton 3? Super Morton's going to have a great girl friend. Oh, so Super Morton is, is going to get a great girl friend. Is it gonna be Lois Lane? Uh, who, but you can't call Lois Lane Lois Dumb, that because she's not. That wouldn't be fair. She's not dumb. She's the smartest, probably the smartest character in Superman. <laughs> so I, I don't even want to. Don't spoil it. You know what? I don't want to know. Surprise me. Surprise everyone watching with Super Morton's girlfriend. Now speaking of speaking of Lois Lane, your sister is named after Lois. Her name is Lois Lane. She's named after Lois Lane. <laughs> well, on that note. Oh, bye. Bye.